Good Monday morning. I'm Corey Duke. And I'm Justin Fisher. Let's take a look at some of the day's top stories from Two News Oklahoma. Two Tulsa police officers and a civilian are recovering after being hit by a car early this morning. A little before one, the police officers pulled over a woman near East 3rd Street when they were all hit by a vehicle traveling southbound. Well, that vehicle then flipped at least once and came to a rest on its top. Authorities say no major injuries were reported in the three people that were hit and that the driver of the flipped car will be arrested for an alcohol related DUI after being released from the hospital. Also happening overnight, Tulsa police investigating a deadly shooting. They were called out to a quick trip off 21st and Memorial. It happened about 3.30 this morning when crews arrived on scene. When our crews did, they saw first responders performing CPR on the victim. He was taken to a hospital, later pronounced dead. Police are not releasing any suspect information at this moment. And the largest street project in Tulsa gets underway today, and that means the way we get around South Tulsa will be changing for a while. Today, Mayor J.T. Bynum and City Councilor Phil Lakin will break ground on the more than $29 million South Yale widening project that's happening at 1.30 in the afternoon. Yale will be widened from two lanes to six between 81st and 91st streets. It's all expected to be finished up for fall of 2023. And I want to take this time to get over to Annie Brown in the Executive Homes Weather Center. Annie, what's the weather looking like? I know we're in the season of fall, but definitely not feeling like it. We're going to stay windy and unseasonably warm for today. South winds will be with us. We'll see periodic gusts pushing about 25 to 30 miles per hour. How about this for your afternoon? 75, getting about 76. Plenty of sun is in store. No, it's not a record-breaking day. Our record was 85 set back in 2005, but 76 still well above that seasonal average of 65 for this time of the year. We'll hold on to these warmer conditions up until about Wednesday. We do have a passing cold front that will slide through, and that's going to knock those temperatures down to more seasonably appropriate levels. We do have a marginal risk, which is a one out of five for a potentially stronger storm developing late Wednesday.